Hey you, find this limit. The limit is x approaches 0 of sine of x over x. Chances are you probably just plugged in 0 to both, and that would make it 0 over 0 since the sine of 0 is 0. So what do we do in this case when taking the limit gives us an indeterminate form like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity? Well, here's where L'Hopital's rule comes in. It's a rule that says that if you have a limit that evaluates to 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, you can just take the derivative of the both top and bottom. So for example, let's use it in this limit that I just gave you. We can take the top function, sine of x, and take its derivative to make it cosine of x. Then we take the bottom function, x, and take its derivative to make it 1. Now all you have is cosine of x, where you could plug in 0 and get a real number like 1. Well, what about this limit? Well, when we just plug infinity into the bottom and top separately, we get another indeterminate form, which is infinity over infinity. Well, we can use L'Hopital's rule on this as well. Take the derivative of the top function, you get this, and take the derivative of the bottom function, you get this. Well, this still looks easier, but do we have to stop there? Well, if we do, we still get the same indeterminate form, infinity over infinity. But what's great about L'Hopital's rule is you could use it over and over again. You can take the first, second, third derivatives, keep on going until you get a non-indeterminate form. So if you take the derivative again, you'll get this, 10 over 4. Now you could just simplify that to 5 over 2 and that would be the correct answer for the limit. God bless.